So good day, everyone. Um, for those who have just recently joined, my name is Mike McCammon, and I'm the Executive Director of the NEC Forum. I'd like to welcome you to our webinar today uh, discussing certification program. It's one of the key uh, ways that our members and the community find ways to ensure interoperability uh, across NMC products. Before we get started, just a few quick housekeeping items. Um, if you're not familiar with GoToWebinar, you, know, you will see this control panel. Um, you are uh, set to mute uh, by default by the organizer. There is a uh, pane for questions or comments. Uh, certainly, uh, please feel free to populate that. Um, we will have some time. The expectation is at the end of our talks to do a quick Q&A on some items that you may have. Excuse me, uh, please uh, feel free to, to use the chat for that. If you have also technical issues, um, and uh, we have uh, two other staff members on the call that uh, can hopefully troubleshoot you um, directly over chat. So uh, let's go to the next slide, Mary, thank you. So again, um, this is me, um, and I'm the Executive Director with the NFC Forum. Uh, good to have all of you this morning. Uh, next slide. The um, experts that we'll have on the call today to help us uh, understand better the certification program are uh, Juan Manuel Gomez, who is with DECRA. It's a testing and certification house based in Spain. Uh, they are one of our authorized test labs. The NFC Forum has about a dozen organizations around the world that provides testing services for NFC certification interoperability. DECRA is, is one of our partners that does that. And then also we have on all uh, Schreiner, uh, who is with uh, NXP um, and in the NFC Forum. He is the chair of the Compliance Committee, which is the governance body of our certification um, and interoperability programs. I'll be turning it over to them in just a few minutes, but I have just a couple quick slides to introduce you to the NFC Forum if you're not familiar. Uh, again, well, here's here's the agenda. Uh, I'll talk, again, I'll tell you just a few things about the forum. Then we'll turn it over to DECRA to, to basically um, show you firsthand how the certification program works. If you were to be a customer of any of our test labs, you would see uh, a likely very similar experience in terms of getting your products tested. Um, then Arnold will talk about why the certification program is important. Um, and also we'll talk briefly about the user experience work that's occurring right now inside the forum as well. Next slide, please. And next slide. So if, if you're unfamiliar with the NFC Forum, um, it's an organization, it's a nonprofit trade group of about 120 uh, currently uh, members from around the world uh, that are uh, advocates for this contactless technology uh, that we know as uh, NFC. Um, there are um, about a dozen different organizations, uh, I should say a dozen different bodies inside the NFC Forum and we also collaborate with a lot of adjacent technical bodies, uh, for instance, like ISO or the Car Connectivity Consortium, among a whole bunch of other lists of organizations to help make sure that these solutions are interoperable um, and that they work worldwide. Uh, the four company names you see here are our sponsor members. It's the highest level, um, and they play a very key role in making sure the technology is successful and that the work is done inside the forum. Next slide, please. If you're not familiar with NFC, um, it is the technology um, that is enabling the contactless lifestyle. Uh, when I uh, tell my friends in my personal life, what do I do? Um, I tell them that I, I work on the technology that is behind tap to pay um, This technology, as you are likely, as you likely know, is being extended to new use cases outside of the payment use case. Um, and this is where a lot of our work occurs. Uh, if you, if you, depending upon what parts of the world you may live in, you may already use um, NFC technology to uh, pay for a transit ticket. Uh, depending upon if you've recently bought a new BMW or a Hyundai automobile, you may also be using it to uh, get access into your car and start your car. These are just a couple of the interesting new use cases that are coming online for us. It is a standard space, short range wireless technology, and the idea is to make people's lives easier. Um, and that is, and the, and the great news about the NFC technology is that it's already built into billions of mobile phones um, around the world. And so half of the solution is already in the consumer's hand. 
It's just a matter of, of our partners and members building products that connect to the mobile phone. Next slide. Um, well, one of the things I do get often asked is what is unique about NFC? Um, and there are kind of four attributes that I always like to point out very quickly. Uh, there is one of the primary differences between the NFC technology and other wireless technologies is that because of the short range uh, and because of how it's designed, it has user intent as kind of a, a primary um, feature of the technology. Um, it only starts when it's touched and it uh, ends when it's removed. Um, most other wireless technologies, you may be familiar with consumer products, for instance, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, uh, basically broadcast um, indiscriminately uh, around the environment, whereas NFC only works um, when the user intends it to work, which is when it does do the tap. Um, obviously, this tap uh, user experience is very intuitive. It makes it very easy for customers to use the technology. Um, it's also bi-directional. Um, we can um, do certain um, algorithms to improve the security uh, when you do go bi-directional. Uh, the technology can also deliver power to um, the radio as well. So NFC can be used on devices that don't have power, for instance. Um, and then finally, of course, it is uh, supported natively by the major operating systems. And so for many use cases, uh, consumers don't have to install software on their phone. They can just use the, the native features that are already built into their mobile phone, uh, both on the software side and on the hardware side, which is really nice and easy for consumers. Next slide. All right, so that's kind of a real quick overview of uh, NFC technology. And what I want to do now is I want to turn um, the floor over to Juan to, from DECRA to kind of walk us through what the certification testing look like um, and show us some examples of that. So Juan, if you want to turn on your camera, I'll turn the uh, floor over to you. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Mike. Hello and welcome to this. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Mike. Hello and welcome to this NFC presentation. Uh, my name is Juan Manuel Gomez and I, and I am NFC engineer at DECRA Testing and Certification, located at Malaga, Spain. Uh, nice to meet all of you. Next slide, please. Okay, sorry. Okay, I'm going to show you the agenda. I'll start with a brief introduction to DECRA history. I'll continue with DECRA services. Then I'll introduce you the NFC forum certification testing, and I'll finish with some advantage when using an ATL, Authorized Test Lab. Next slide, please. Okay. DECRA has been active in the field of safety for 90 years. Founded in 1925 in Berlin, it is today one of the world's leading expert organizations with qualified and independent expert services. Next slide, please. Also, DECRA started as a vehicle testing organization he has been extended his scope entered it into other different markets. In 2015, DECRA entered it into the telecom market, besides others, expanding his portfolio into EMC and wireless testing. Next one, please. We are accelerating our global growth and our claim to be the global partner for a safe world. The central sales organization provides comprehensive, customized solutions for our services. 
DECRA is in over 50 countries with more than 45,000 employees. Next one, please. DECRA has eight main service divisions listed in this slide. Then is the NFC Forum testing services belong to our product testing service division. Next slide, please. The product, the product and testing division is split into six business lines, as you can see in this slide. Next slide, please. Okay. This slide is just to show you some of our services that are included in some of our business lines. Our testing services related to NFC Forum are linked to the connectivity testing business lines. Next one, please. Okay. DECRA offers a wide range of testing, testing types with certification purposes for wireless and IoT. All of them share the same goals and benefits of certification to ensure that quality and interoperable products are available for developers, ecosystem vendors, service providers, and their customers. Next one, please. Thank you. And after this brief introduction about our company, let's look now into the NFC Forum certification testing. As you will know, Negra is one of the NFC accredited test laboratory that offers certification testing for all the official certification releases. Negra is also the official NFC test tool validation house. Has added value DECRA can also provide pre-testing and debugging services, testing on demand, project management, consultancy trainings, or test tool development besides others. Next slide, please. DECRA offers testing for RF analog, digital protocol, LLCP, SNAP, TAG application, and TAG performance. Main of our customers are chipset and module vendors, besides others. Next one, please. Okay, currently, DECRA offers certification testing for certification release 11, CR11, and CR12. We are now validating the test tool for the new, uh, the new certification release, that this is the CR13 that will include new devices of CCC, Car Connectivity Consortium. These devices are CCC Digital Key Reader and CCC Digital Key Car Emulator. Next slide, please. Okay. Inheritance of the results from a previously certified implementation is allowed with for digital protocol, LLCP, and a SNAP, but the inheritance of analog test results from a previous, previously certified implementation is not allowed for analog. Next slide, please. Thank you. What is needed in order to run NFC forum testing? Firstly, be an NFC forum member. Okay. Anyway, uh, this will change uh, in the new CR13. Secondly, the device needs to support NFC forum device requirements. And before to start certification testing activities, it's necessary to provide ICS and ICSIC declaration. In that way, the lab, the ATL, could select the right test plan. This is another point where NFC forum at DECRA are collaborating to improve working in a software in a software application application where the device manufacturer will fill the form easily and generate the test plan automatically this tool is named tpg test plan generator and will be launched in the next month next slide please 
as an example of what we request to our customer for testing, uh, in case of uh, RF analog testing, we usually request to our customer at least two samples without any element in the horizontal surface that difficult the positioning. And the software, the DTA application, uh, to control the, the IoT uh, for the testing. For, in this case, it's for analog testing. But the DTA is also, also required for digital and other uh, test suite uh, testing. Next slide, please. The advantage of performing the testing on a ATL authorized test lab are use of validated test system and quality because we are ISO 70,025 accredited and completing the NFC certification. You can use the logo, the NFC logo. You can improve your marketing and the, your multi-vendor interoperability. OK, so there are uh, many advantages to use an uh, authorized test labs. Next slide, please. And now uh, we are going to see a video demonstration of our activities of NSC Forum Test Lab. DECRA is the first and only authorized test lab in Europe, accredited by NFC Forum to certify devices according to NFC Forum certification program. In our lab, we test if a device, tag or reader is compliant with NFC Forum specifications. To do so, we use a test plan generated according to NFC Forum certification releases, where are indicated all testing requirements devices should meet to ensure interoperability with other products. To carry out the evaluation, we use an automated test tool, a tester equipped with an articulated arm that is controlled from the computer. Two different types of testing can be performed, analog testing and digital testing. In the analog testing, before starting the evaluation, the sample is placed in the tester box of the equipment and an antenna is put in the robot's arm. This antenna will be used to evaluate how the sample behaves in its presence. The doors must be closed to guarantee safety while the test is running. Next, our expert initiates the evaluation of the product from the computer. During the first phase of the test, the technician controls the robot manually to adjust the reference position of the antenna with the sample. He moves the robot to get the right position. Then, the assessment continues automatically. During the evaluation, the robot will realize different movements with the arm to place the antenna in different positions and measure diverse parameters. The whole process is supervised by the technician at any time. Depending on the device's functionalities, different types of antennas are used during the test. The evaluation needs to be performed with each of the antennas. Once the testing with the first antenna is finished, our expert selects the next one and replaces it in the robot's arm. It's important to prepare correctly the equipment. Then, the evaluation continues with the same steps. At DECRA, we have a wide experience testing and certifying devices that use NFC technology. As members of the NFC Forum, we contribute and participate in the testing working groups and committees, which allow us to be up to date on all the news and latest updates on NFC. DECRA is also a validation house of the NFC Forum. We check if the tools that will be used to certify devices according to the certification program meet NFC Forum requisites specified for this purpose. In digital testing, different types of antennas are also used, but the evaluation process is slightly different. The sample doesn't need to be placed inside the equipment, either the antenna in the robot's arm, as required during the analog testing. This time, the technician uses an antenna connected to the equipment and places it over the sample to perform the evaluation. In addition, our portfolio includes testing and certification services for similar programs, 
which allows our customers to save time to commercialize their products. In our tests, we use validated tools. We are granted with the ISO 17025 accreditation, which ensures the quality of tests. When the evaluation is finalized, it is issued a test report where it's shown if the device meets the requirements of the NFC Forum Certification Program and details of the evaluation. So that's all from our side. Uh, we can now transfer the control again to NFC. And thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Hi, hello. My name is uh, Arno Schreider. Uh, I am the chair of the NFC Forum uh, Compliance Committee. Let me first uh, thank Mike uh, for the introduction and Juan for this uh, wonderful uh, presentation. And now we'll go over the certification program Please, uh, next slide. So today, what I'm going to talk is uh, two important things. The first one is the importance of the certification program. I will go through a certification program overview and explain the product certification and finally uh, give you a sense of what is the certification releases and what is going to happen uh, in the future. And in a second part, I will uh, explain you uh, why a certificate, certificate, certified uh, device will improve the user experience of your device. Please, uh, next slide. Certification program overview. Next slide. So why certification program is a key component of uh, uh, NFC forum? First of all, a certification program allows you to check if your device is compliant to the NFC Forum uh, technical uh, specification. It contributes also to uh, push a consistent behavior across the NFC Forum ecosystem and will set uh, interoperability uh, among uh, devices. The third point is that it offers you also a value to differentiate your device from uh, the competition. This certification program is established since 2012, and the certificate is already uh, recognized by many organizations. Next slide, please. So certification program contributes to interoperability, brings you a quality assurance of your device, give you a product differentiation and as well as a, a useful matrix to know where you stand. Next slide, please. To build all the points I, I presented, um, we have built the certification program around uh, six uh, core elements. So the first one is that we have a clear certification process control through uh, documentation and procedures. We have test cases uh, which verify the compliance of the technical specification, and those test cases have been approved, reviewed, and validated by different stakeholders like IC manufacturer, end user manufacturer, test tool vendor, uh, and as well as uh, laboratory. We have also, as well, on the third point, approved test tool meaning that uh, test tool implementing this, uh, those test cases have passed successfully uh, a validation process defined by the NFC forum at the validation house, which as said by Juan, uh, is done by also by DECRA. On, uh, the fourth core element is the authorized test lab. So they are first, uh, they work like a, a neutral entity which provide uh, test services. And we have put in place also at NFC Forum a process called interlaboratory comparison testing to ensure that the testing uh, could, is re reproducible 
uh, across uh, all uh, laboratories. Finally, we have the two last points. The number five is that uh, NFC Forum is also a neutral entity that validate a test report. And finally, once your, uh, once your device is certified, we will list and promote it on the NFC Forum uh, website. Next slide, please. So let me list some of our uh, liaisons partners. Uh, today, we, we work closely with uh, GCMA, GCF and PTCRB, and the NFC Forum certificate is uh, well recognized uh, by those uh, organizations. And we are working uh, today also closely with uh, Car Connectivity uh, Consortium and uh, Universal Salus uh, Initiative um, to, uh, to answer to their request. And I will present uh, more points later in my slides. Next slide, please. Product certification. Next slide. So who should certify? So it could be uh, IC component or end user, end product uh, manufacturer. What will you certify? We will certify the NFC functionality of any device. Why should you certify? And here it's a very important point is to ensure that you you provide a good user experience for your use case. And where should you certify? You could certify it at any authorized test lab. And uh, DECRA is one of uh, the test lab uh, among this list. How can you certify? Here I will explain you in the next slide and NFC Forum will bring the full support. So step two, to certify. So like, like uh, Juan explained, first uh, join uh, NFC Forum. Uh, you can already uh, certify devices at the lowest membership level, which is implementer. Then you will prepare your sample, prepare the document like ICS exit uh, for certification. You will provide this uh, to the authorized test lab so to perform the test. The authorized test lab will provide you a report and only you have to apply to on the directly on the NFC forum website where you submit your ICS document, your exit document, as well as your summary test report provided by the test lab. And finally, NFC forum will promote your certification directly on their website. Next slide, please. Let me just list uh, some of uh, companies who have certified in uh, 2021 or 2020 uh, devices, so like Samsung, NXP, ST, Identif, Sony, Sonim, Infineon, Fudan, Micro, and LG. Uh, more uh, have also uh, certified devices, but I wanted to, to list the most prominent one. Next slide, please. Let me talk now about uh, certification uh, releases and give you a sense of what it is and what it is planned for, for the future. Certification releases. So a certification releases, release co correspond to a group of consistent test cases and process uh, documents. And each certification release defines a set of NFC forum uh, device class. And this device class define uh, each uh, supporting, what will be the supporting feature, uh, sorry, each supporting of specific set of feature called uh, interoperability module. The, the, the choose of uh, this uh, specific set of features are here to target specific use cases and application. And you can find all these definitions within the devices requirement document. Within the certification release, uh, you have test cases document, which are grouped in what we call a test release. You will be able only to uh, certify to certify your device with the an active certification release. So once a new certification release is published, uh, NFC Forum defines a grace period up to 18 calendar months uh, in, for the previous certification release. 
And after this grace period ends, of course, it will not be possible to uh, certify your device with this previous certification release. Next slide, please. Let me show you where we stand in terms of certification releases. Today, we have two certification releases active, uh, CR11, which has been launched in 2017 and which will become end of life by November 2021. We have CR12, which are active and launched last, November last year. And this new certification release has made a, a huge change uh, on the test cases and brought uh, several new features like tap of tag operation, peer-to-peer -peer active communication mode, and testing for tap for tag mapping version 3.0. Now let me talk about the future and what the compliance committee plan. First of all, we plan a launch, uh, the launch of CR13, TR13.0 uh, by uh, end of uh, October 2021. Uh, this certification release mainly uh, supports the request of the Car Connectivity Consortium. And to, to answer to, to their request, we have added uh, two new uh, device class. The first one is called, like presented by Juan, CCC Digital Key Reader Device and CCC Digital Key Card Emulation Device. To answer to the automotive market, we have defined for those device class a specific CR grace period of 72 months. Also, with CR13, TR13.0, uh, we will make the certification available for non-members. Important part also, which will come with uh, this certification release, is the introduction of a test plan uh, generator. We have decided to centralize the, uh, the the way to uh, uh, to um, to select the right test cases to be uh, uh, to be executed, and this is a tool which will be available to everybody and every member, they can fill in an SES and the tool we give them what the list of test cases they have to pass. We are already working on the next uh, test release, which we don't know yet the name, so it will be either CR13, TR13.1 or CR14, TR14.0, which will come in, in 2022. It will enable uh, the testing for NFC wireless charging and it will answer to the request of Universal Stylus Initiative uh, with the introduction of the new device class called USI Wireless Charging Reader Device. We have also planned to introduce an additional generic class of NFC form device, which is called the card emission device. Next slide, please. Improved user experience. Next slide. So maybe the first question you you can you can have is improving compared to, to what? And here it's, I want to show you how you can have an improved user experience in compared to a device which is not certified. What we want to give to, to the user is, of course, uh, the best uh, NFC user experience. And to give that, we need that uh, as soon as he wants to perform the tap or uh, an action, that it should be successful from the first attempt. But it also needs to be successful with every devices in the NFC forum, NFC ecosystem. So this is only achieved when but your device is able to complete any transaction with any devices. And how certification can help, help that? Certification is built on three testing layer. The first one is the analog testing. The analog testing will ensure that your device uh, will have a robust communication in the operating volume between different antenna sizes. So we will test in front of Polar 0, Polar 3, Polar 6, 
and if you are in a reader in front of listener one, listener three, and listener six. Then you will pass the digital testing. This will ensure that your device has a robust data exchange and protocol level. And finally, we had it in 2017, uh, the TAC performance, where we check that we have a robust data exchange in the operating volume. So we perform an NDF exchange within the operating volume. All three together enables the execution of the NDF application and enables the interoperability within the NFC ecosystem. And all together, brings an improved uh, user experience for your device to uh, your customer. Next slide, please. Thank you, and now I will hand it over to Mike. Thanks, Arnold. This is... Uh... Yeah, this is Mike. Uh, we'll have just a couple more slides and we will open the floor to questions. So please feel free to start um, um, typing some of those questions in the control panel that you have on the, the right of your screen. Um, so real quickly, um, in terms of the NFC forum as it relates to uh, kind of what our scope of work is. So today what we've been discussing primarily is the certification program, which is this third step. Um, but do understand that the NFC forum um, has other uh, remits to the industry. Um, it starts all the way on the far left, which is uh, where use case ideation occurs. Uh, we have a number of different governance bodies, primarily special interest groups, along with member companies and other, in the entire standards community, we develop use cases um, around how uh, the TAP user experience can be applied to new markets. That work then goes into uh, specification development if needed, and then of course we have the testing and then the certified certification program. So basically this is the entire remit of these. Our members can participate depending upon the level in all or some of these activities. Um, uh, what we're discussing today is just testing, but of course there is also a very big specification effort as well as the use case ideation, which is on the front side of that. Next slide. To learn more about the NFC Forum, uh, please visit our website. Um, we also have social media accounts if you'd like to follow us. Uh, we are most active on LinkedIn and Twitter, but we also have a Facebook presence as well. Uh, feel free to follow with us on those platforms where you can get the latest news and updates about the, the forum, um, our members, and uh, the latest developments in our specification work. Next slide. Um, the NFC Forum does have um, basically four levels of membership. Uh, they're represented in this um, inverted triangle. Um, the lowest level are implementer organizations. Um, if you join as an implementer, it's a very affordable cost uh, and annual fee, which allows you to participate in the special interest groups, which is where the use case ideation occurs. The next level up from that um, is the associate level. Um, this gets you access to some of our committees and uh, the working groups that actually do the specification work. Uh, the next step up from there is principal. Um, same as the, there's also the ability to hold leadership positions and also voting rights in some of those groups that the associates do not have. And then our sponsor level, which is the highest level, um, that is primarily designed for organizations that are looking to set the strategic direction of the group. Um, and it includes all the benefits below as well as a seat on our board. Um, as you, you know, obviously would know of being a member of the NFC Forum, um, gets you access to all of these activities, um, as well as the business networking opportunities uh, that are important for being able to grow your business in our ecosystem, along with, uh, you know, being listed on the website and those types of activities too. If you'd like to learn more about membership, uh, you can click the join button on our website. Next slide. Um, here's the current pricing for the membership levels. Um, that's there for your reference. Um, it starts at $6,000. We do have a startup implementer. That's a discounted membership for uh, startup companies. Uh, there are revenue and incorporation timeframe limits on that. But again, all that can be found on our website. Next slide. 
And that's all I have for today. Um, I'd like to open up the floor for any questions. Uh, Mary, you said that uh, you did have a couple as well. Are those? I'm not looking in the right place. I don't seem to see them. I do have one question already. Alex, there's a whole bunch of questions here. Um, all right, so let me, um, I'll go ahead and let um, others ask questions too, but uh, why don't we get a one or an all back on? Um, some of these questions are probably better answered by them. Um, the first question, and I'm gonna kind of take the NFC side of this question first, and then I'll pass it on to uh, Juan and Arnal. Um, the, the, one of the first questions I have here is, um, what does certification cost? Um, and I, I do wanna, uh, one of the big changes to the certification program at the NFC Forum um, within the last year is we did um, change the design of payment. So one of the things we do today is that um, if a company has a product tested by an authorized test house and they have a signed test report, um, those products are then can get NFC certification and be listed on our website at no cost to those organizations. Um, they do have to have that signed test report uh, from a test lab. Um, but um, and so it, I did create some confusion in the marketplace by saying that you know certification was free, um, and I understand how that may be confusing to people because there is a cost of certification. Um, but once you do have a test um, signed test report, uh, getting it listed on the NFC Forms website um, is free. Now, Juan, I know that there's a whole bunch of factors that you know come into play, but you know generally speaking, when someone wants wants to get a certification. Uh, for a product done, what would be the kind of range and factors when it comes to, you know, what pricing might look like from a typical lab, not necessarily directly from Dectra, but kind of what would be people's, what should people's expectations be? Okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, Relative with the certification cost, uh, uh, the, the price, the fees is listed in the NFC website. Okay, and it depends if uh, testing is required or not required. If, as you comment, if the testing is not required because the, the changes on the device in the previously certified devices is not uh, the testing is not required uh, but the customer want to uh, rename it they only need to they only need to pay a, a little fee to to rebrand or rename the products okay and the different prices the different fees are listed on the nfc forum website i might also and i know that uh, it may be private but um Let's say that um, I had a product that I wanted to have be tested, you know, analog and digital. You know, if I came to Decra or another test lab, does the cost of testing is that a is that a one thousand euro or a ten thousand or a fifty thousand? I mean, how much how much does it you know just in a ballpark? Okay. What would someone expect in terms of how much it might cost okay. to get the testing? Okay. 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 Related with the uh, testing cost, it depends on the. But the future supported by the device. Uh, there are different type of devices, universal devices, uh, reader and writer, uh, only tax, okay? So depending on the devices, uh, type of devices, the testing, uh, the amount of testing is uh, 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 smaller or bigger, okay? It's around uh, uh, 2,000 uh, Europe, okay, I think, but uh, depending on the type of uh, class, the, the, the type of the device. Right. Um, all right. Um, let me see. I'm looking at another. Um, Arnaud, would you want to add anything to to the answer to that question in terms of how much does this cost generally? I, I, yes, I want to emphasize one one point, which is that that you said that once you have a test report uh, received from the laboratory that you can go directly to NFC Forum website, apply for certification, and now you don't need any more to pay additional fees uh, through the, the website. No, it has been already done. 
Right, and this was a change we made last year to um, make certification more affordable for, for organizations, um, you know, um, in, in terms of being able to list. Um, so, um, let's see here. Um, you know, this is an interesting question. So, uh, we, we, because we're familiar with it, we kind of skipped over. So, we have these certification releases. Um, and they don't happen every year, but they seem to be happening more frequently, at least lately. So we have the we had the 12 that came out last year, and then 13 that's going to be out here shortly. Um, do products have to go? You know, and one question I think someone would have is, so if I've had a product certified under CR12, do I have to go back when CR13 comes out and have it recertified, or or generally are these certification releases additive? Or, or do they replace existing um, certification releases? What, what do I have to do if I have an already certified product? Say under CR, let's actually make it more a uh, stress test. If I say I have a CR11 um, certified product, do I have to do anything to be CR13 compliant or how does that work? So there is no uh, straight answer, yes or no, but it depends on, on your product. And in general, when we, introduce a new certification release, it means that we introduce a new feature uh, to be tested. So for example, for CR13, we answer to the request of the Car Connectivity Consortium. And here, you want to address uh, this market. So here you, you may want to, to even if your device is certified with CR12, you may want to recertify with uh, CR13. So it depends on what is what's the market you target, and um, but in I would always uh, advise to to reperform certification to be sure to be compliant to the latest uh, technical specification. Yeah. Um, so one. Um, you know, in the video, in your presentation, you talked about the customer experience uh, when it comes to, you know, having testing done at a lab like um, Decra. Um, are our customers, you know, what's the customer experience? Do they come on site for those activities or is it, or is it generally that they would send products or, you know, kind of how does the logistics of that work? Are they required to be on site or is there something where they, just ship the products to the test lab and they do the testing, or how does that normally work? Uh, yes, uh, currently uh, the specification and the testing requirement uh, is very clear and it's not needed that the customer uh, be on site here on the lab during the testing. Okay, uh, they only uh, they only need to provide the has uh, instruction to manage the sample depending on, on the device, the type of the device. If it's a, a universal device, we need a more instruction because it usually is a, a phone or a tablet, okay, with a different configuration depending on the testing. But usually it don't, it's not required to, to be here on, on site to perform the testing. Just uh, giving us a the instruction to manage the device under test and the DTA, the software, to, to manage, to, to control the unconfigure the device during the testing is enough. Don't need to be here. All right. Um, I had another quick question um, and then now I just lost it. Um, it is related to, oh, actually this is a, yeah, the question I was gonna ask Juan is so, um, obviously, Decker does testing in a lot of different standards uh, regimes. Um, and how would you, um, how, how is NMC Forum certification testing different than something uh, like maybe Wi-Fi Alliance or say Bluetooth SIG or Zigbee Alliance? How, how does it differ? Is it, I would assume it's fairly similar. Is, is that true or, or how much differences are there? Uh, comparing, for example, with Bluetooth or, or, or Wi-Fi, uh, NFC forum testing is very similar, okay? We have uh, uh, 
a DTA. In, in case of Bluetooth, we have test mode in order to perform the testing in the labs. We use a validated assistant in case of Bluetooth and in case of uh, NFC. And uh, we also uh, uh, require, we need uh, ICS and ICSID, the same uh, happen in Bluetooth or, or, or on other technologies, okay, like ZB or similar. Okay, so in that uh, side uh, is very similar. The 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 difference between uh, Bluetooth or another uh, these IoT technologies is the, uh, for example, in the RF, uh, because we need to use a robot in order to 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 be accuracy with the positioning during the testing for the analog part. Protocol is very similar. Yeah. You have to have a bigger box to text Wi-Fi, right? Because the distance is much further, correct? I'm <laughs> just joking on that. So yeah. uh, with uh, NFC, you can have a small box to test, but with Wi-Fi and um, Bluetooth, given the range, you, you must have a bigger room for that. So yeah. um, in terms of testing. Um, all right, well, we only have about four or five more minutes. Why don't I just real quickly give one or an all just a few minutes just to kind of make any kind of closing uh, remarks or thoughts about uh, the certification program and its importance as relates to interoperability, um, and also just some final comments you have today about what's been discussed. Juan, do you have any uh, closing thoughts you'd like to add today? I would say that uh, if you you should remember one point of, of this uh, whole webinar is that uh, certification program provides interoperability and therefore positive and a better user experience for for your product and um, that um, uh, CR 13 will come and uh, it will support uh, car connectivity consortium request and the next test release uh, in 2022 will support the request of universal stylus uh, initiative which will enable NFC wireless charging testing which it is a, a big step forward, I would say, for, for NFC Forum to, to introduce uh, NFC wireless charging feature. And it's in the pipe and um, it will definitely happen. Um, yes, that's it uh, on my side. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, and I'll add real quick before Juan jumps in that, um, you know, one of the things I've learned um, in one of my previous times in my career, I've been a product manager um, at a, a number of large manufacturers. And, um, you know, I, I think it's really important for product managers to kind of be champions of the importance of certification testing of their products, because NFC forum technology is always, well, almost in every case, is a high volume use case. Um, and the last thing you want to have happen is to not go through certification testing and discover once your product gets in the field that you're having interoperability problems because it's it's very, very difficult given the volume and then also the fact that a lot of times these technologies are embedded um, and there's usually not a field upgrade path. Uh, and so you can really create a very difficult business dilemma for yourself if you don't have your products tested for interoperability. Uh, it, it's kind of the worst case scenario as a product manager is to have a product that gets shipped and has a quality issue. So certification testing is certainly one very important way to ensure that you won't have those types of issues um, and have that business risk uh, that you would have by kind of a choosing to say, well, we'll save a couple thousand euros and not go to the testing. It's a really, really bad idea. Uh, just because the, the amount of money you pay is so low relative to the risk that you put to your business by choosing to avoid certification testing. So that's for the non-engineers in the room. It's for the business product managers in the room. So don't don't avoid certification testing. Uh, Juan, do you have any closing thoughts? I'll let you have the last word today. They're saying that uh, both of you comment that uh, go ahead with certification of the products because these ensure the quality and the uh, interoperability between products to avoid any uh, any user problem in in the future yeah yeah all right uh gentlemen thank you very much for your time and i'd like to thank all the attendees today as well uh, please be sure to 
uh, when you exit the webinar to take just a moment to take a couple question survey so we can improve these. Uh, I want to thank everyone for your time. Um, have a good week and please be safe um, as the world continues to kind of navigate um, the kind of hopefully the last rounds of the pandemic. And I look forward to uh, seeing all of you in person at a future NFC Forum member meeting, um, hopefully as early as uh, later in 2022. Have a good day, everyone.